Hi again, this is Sam from BoardAtWork.com and we're taking a look at the HDPC basically plugged into the TV and um, we're just going to go straight and just show you basically uh, how um, Live TV works on here. You go on, you select Live TV under the TV menu, that should pop up and um, right away you're watching the TV. Now, watching a movie here, I believe this is um, Safe House. I'm going to do a little recording here just to show you the recording functionality here. So it's going to start um, recording. Ooh, knife fight. Man, this is intense. Okay, we're going to stop the recording. Now, I'm going to go back just to show you where this is recorded from. I'm going to go back. Oh, I guess I switched right and went back. But I'm going to go basically to um, uh, back to the TV menu. Sorry, the TV menu, recorded TV. Now this should give you the option of watching the last, um, your, your last recorded video comes up. Hit OK, you should see the scene we just recorded. Play. Now, this is all done using the Media Center remote. So I'm basically controlling the um, cable card using the remote right now. Um, or should I say Windows Media Center using the remote right now. I'm going to go back. I'm going to show you a few other features that you have here. You have access to the movies you already have, your movie library, any digital videos you have saved on your PC, you can actually watch here. Um, you have music, so your music library is already on here. Uh, I'm sure the add-ons for music as well. Um, you have pictures and videos, which are just pictures and videos probably from your camcorders. You have extras. Uh, so which is extra library, so let's see, um, you have games here, so you have a few features that uh, actually make this a little bit more um, value-wise, a little bit more valuable than just actually having a, um, a cable box. Now I'm going to go to the movie section, this is where this really shines because um, Media Center, uh, Windows Media Center is actually come, actually comes included with Netflix which you can actually go into Netflix and that should launch and you can basically go through your Netflix, your Netflix instant queue which I'm going to get away from now so people don't see the weird things I have on my instant queue. Okay, oh yes, I was uh, watching the British uh, version of House of Cards recently, um, the original BBC version. Now I'm going to exit out of um, Netflix, doing this all with the remote, and um, now I'm going to show you something else. Now, I, I remember, I initially said you really don't need a keyboard and mouse, however, if you're going to switch out, let's say I have Steam installed right now, so I'm going to switch out of this, go into Steam and actually play a game. I'll show you how easy it is to do that. You can either close this or minimize this. I'm going to minimize this and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to launch Darksiders, right? Let's see what happens. So the Windows Media Center is still running on the background while I have Darksiders actually um, you know, starting up right now. Now the APU, as I said, once again, can't stress this enough, building this on an APU architecture is simply saying that you have enough graphics power to play, you know, to play decent games while, um, you know, while still having that home theater um, PC functionality. So it's, it really gives you the best of both worlds. It is a PC, it is also your cable box, you can play games on here, you know, you can see that this is actually running pretty um, solid. It's, it's, okay. All right, I'm getting my butt kicked here. All right, I think I'm gonna run a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think I'll be doing that after the fact. So, as you can tell, gameplay still very smooth. All right. I needed that. Um, all in all, I'm pretty sure you can tell that this is, you know, the game here is running very smoothly. Let's see if we can get to the graphics to show you exactly. Um, you know what we're running this at probably running at full every um, at most optimal settings for video so video options brightness and default game options audio options 
Okay, so it doesn't really go into details here, but graphics wise, this looks great. Um, function wise, or should I say, um, just overall the game is smooth and it doesn't really, um, there, there are no hiccups whatsoever. It's it's a really it's a great pleasure to be able to play this using a graph uh, using a home theater PC and be able to basically do this pause. I can actually close out of this, so I'm actually going to use my mouse and quit. You know, take me go yes, start and quit the desktop gaming session, and we can go back and launch Windows Media Player. Go back to live TV, and we're on. And that's it. Now you can go back to watching your regular live TV and now we'll switch to real time with Bill Maher. This is great. Um, you get all the functionality of your PC, you get all the functionality of your cable box. You really don't lose much, but you gain a lot. You basically, you know, save from having to pay what I was probably paying about $10 a month for my cable box. I now save that up. Think about it. For a whole year, I've had my cable box for about three years. So for a whole year at $10 a month, I'm paying about $120. For three years, that means I've been paying $360, which is actually less than all the components I actually purchased for this home theater PC. Yes, a bunch of this was donated, but keep in mind that you can actually use your own spare parts, your own parts from old PCs to actually put uh, to actually build this device, this home theater PC. All in all, this is great. Now, I'm going to show you something really cool here before I leave. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch this over to my Xbox. Now, keep in mind that the Xbox does function as a media extender for um, as a media extender for your um, media Center or HTPC or Windows Media Center. Now, as you noted, uh, on Windows Media Center on the HTPC, we're actually watching Bill Maher on HBO, whereas right now on the Xbox, we're actually watching, you know, um, hmm, let's see, Cab or Cab Driver or Taxi, yes, with uh, Queen Latifah on HBO Signature. So, yes, your media extender does serve as an additional um, cable box if you were you can have this in another room playing another channel while you're actually watching another channel on the HTPC those the the Seton Infinity V4 gives you four cable tuners or four tuners to actually work with so while you're watching one channel you can record four of the ch um, three of the channels or all four channels or while you're watching one channel in your in the living room you can be watching another channel in the bedroom another channel in the kitchen and another channel in the den this is really cool for all of you who really want to get your home entertainment synchronized across all the rooms in your home this is almost a must-have so all in all it's really easy to build if you really want to know the step by steps you can always send us an email at borderwork.com um, you know you can hit up the site take a look at the blog read um, basically how we went about putting this together or you know you can just drop us an email and we can give you um, helpful hints on uh, if, if you run into problems setting up your own HTPC once again this has been Sam for borderwork.com enjoy your entertainment